This is a brief instructional video on how to change both the top and bottom heads of your snare drum. First, let us look at the different parts of the drum. The wires on the bottom of the drum are called the snares. The snares are held against the bottom head of the drum by the butt plate and the throw-off. In addition, a lever on the throw-off engages and disengages these wires in order to change the drum's tone. The tension knob adjusts how tightly the snares are pulled across the bottom drum head. The heads are held onto the drum by the steel counter hoops. These hoops are held into place by the tension rods. The tension rods screw into an assembly that is bolted to the drum called a lug. You use a drum key to tighten or loosen the tension rods. This changes the pitch of the drum. To remove the top drum head, you will need to loosen the tension rods. Work your way around the drum in a crisscross or star-shaped pattern. This ensures an even release of tension and protects your drum and heads. After removing the head, use a clean soft cloth to wipe away any dust and debris that has accumulated on the edge of the shell. When you place the new head on the drum, line up the logo on the head so that it sits between two of the lugs. Before placing the counter hoop onto the head, you will want to use your cloth again to wipe away any debris on the hoop. As you re-thread the tension rod back into the lug, tighten the rod by hand first and then proceed by using the drum key. Work your way around the drum and finger tighten all the tension rods first. This particular drum does not have very much room to tighten the rods by hand, so we will use the drum key, stopping once we feel tension on the rod. To tighten the head, again, work in a crisscross or star-shaped pattern around the head tightening each rod only a single turn. To fine tune the drum, lightly tap on the head with a stick at each tuning lug. The pitch should be the same all the way around the head. Raise or lower the pitch accordingly. When you have a good, even tone, you are done with the top head. Changing the bottom head adds a few more steps, but the process is the same. The first step will be to remove the snare wires. You will need to loosen both the throw-off and the butt plate using a drum key or a small screwdriver. Completely remove the snares from the head to avoid any damage to the wires. You will then go through the same steps as changing the top head. When you remount the snares, make sure they are centered on the head. This ensures an even tension and tone. Loosen the tension knob on the throw-off. It will need to be as loose as it can go without disassembling. As you reattach the snares, do not worry about keeping them tight. We will fine tune the tension of the snares later.
To reduce any excess snare buzz, loosen the tension rods on either side of the snare by one turn. To fine tune the drum, we will now disengage the snares. Mute the top head with one hand while tapping on the bottom head. Then mute the bottom head and tap on the top. The general idea of the pitch is to have the bottom head slightly higher than the top. The pitch you choose is up to you. For this particular drum, we have raised the pitch of the top head just a bit. The final step is to adjust the snare tension. With the snares engaged, tap on the drum while slowly raising the tension on the snare. A looser setting gives you a fuller, fuzzier sound. As you tighten the snares, the sound becomes more articulate. And last, don't be afraid to experiment with both the snare tension as well as the pitch of the heads. This will help you find your own personal snare sound.